Hi guys! I'm Kenny and welcome back. I really hope you guys are happy. I hope you're all doing well. But if not, I hope that you feel better soon. For today's video, as you can tell sa my title, what I'm gonna do is magtatry ako ng mga affordable na makeup. One dollar makeup to be specific. Before I forgot, yung pangalan nga pala ng brand na ating susubukan sa video na to is AOA and you can get this sa shopmissa.com. So again, yung pressure nito kapag ka-inorder nyo siya sa may website nila is one dollar or 50 pesos lang. Pero yung sa akin guys, binili ko siya sa Shopee and yung presyo nito is around ano na, 90 to 100 plus pesos. Medyo malaki yung patong nila, I'm not gonna lie, almost double but that's okay kasi at least diba, kapag ka binili nyo siya sa may Shopee, hindi nyo na kailangan pang isipin yung shipping and yung mga kung ano-ano kailangan yung i-deal kapag ka nagpunta kayo ng post office. If you're planning to get this, kung paisa-isa lang naman, I suggest na sa Shopee na lang kayo bumili pero kung bulk, Kung maramihan yung ordering nyo, I suggest nasa may website na lang. Also, heads up lang guys na hindi full face itong gagawin natin today kasi yung pinagbilhan kong shop sa Shopee, hindi kompleto yung mga items nila nung umorder ako. Pero ano lang naman guys, ang wala sa akin dito is concealer, bronzer, tsaka eyeshadow. Siguro what I'm gonna do na lang is hahanap ako sa collection ko, na nandoon, <laughs> ng mga affordable makeup na pwede kong i-implement or isama sa video na to para... Yung makeup look na magagawa natin is very ano pa din, glam and pasabog. Before we continue, of course, if this is your first time on my channel, if you haven't already, make sure to click the subscribe and bell button para ma-notify kayo kapag may mga bago akong videos. You can also follow me sa mga social media accounts ko if you want to stay updated. And as always, lahat ng mga information na kailangan nyo will be listed sa may description box below. So yeah, if you guys want to know my thoughts on these products, of course, just keep on watching. I'm going to start with my brows. And yung product na gagamitin ko from AOA is yung kanilang Wonder Brow Tinted Brow Pomade. This is how the product looks like. And once you open it, ganito siya guys. And yung shade na napili ko or kinuha ko is Ebony. Medyo nagulat ako sa size nito nung dumating siya kasi super liit niya. But that's okay kasi this one I got yata I believe for only 90 pesos. Tsaka pomade naman to kaya matipid siyang gamitin. A little goes a long way and you don't need a lot kapag ka maglalagay kayo sa kilay. Anyway, what I'm doing right now is kinukuha ko lang yung product using an angled brush. And this time ang gawin natin is of course subukan na natin siya and let's see kung okay ba yung kanyang quality and itsura sa kilay. This is how the product looks like kapag ka nakalagay na siya sa kilay and when it comes sa may pigmentation niya, actually it's very pigmented. You don't need a lot at all, kaya I feel like etong product na to, kahit maliit lang siya, maglalast siya sa inyo ng super tagal. When it comes naman sa may consistency ng product, actually medyo tacky yung kanyang consistency. Hindi siya super creamy. Kung familiar kayo sa may formula and consistency ng Project Vanity and Elana na pang kilay, yung waterproof, Ganon, very similar doon yung kanyang feeling kapag kanilalagay sa kilay. Medyo may pagka-waxy siya ng konti but still, very ano pa din naman, easy to blend and apply sa may kilay. Anyway, this is the before and after of may kilay. After kong gamitin itong AOA na Wonder Brow Tinted Brow Pomade. So yeah, overall para sa akin guys, I like this product and I highly recommend. Kung naghahanap kayo ng pangkilay na very pigmented, Easy to blend and perfect gamitin para gumawa ng on fleek and natural brows. This one is nice kasi talaga maganda siya. Tsaka less than 100 pesos lang siya eh, kaya ang bongga. Now that we're done sa ating kilay, magpo-proceed na tayo sa ating base. And yung first nating susubukan is yung AOA na Wonder Skin Poreless Primer. And ayan guys, this is how the product looks like. How to use, apply a small amount to clean, moisturized skin prior to concealer, foundation, and powder application. Works with cream, liquid, and powder foundation. Sabi din dito sa may packaging niya na yung product daw is cruelty free and 12 months yung expiration. Again, this product retails originally for $1 and it contains 0.67 fluid ounce. Anyway, subukan na natin siya. So, once you open the cap, this is how the applicator looks like. Para siyang yung sa may baby skin, a pore eraser. Kuha na tayo ng product and ganito yung kanyang consistency. Very runny and watery yung kanyang consistency. Almost like gel. Tapos, when it comes sa may scent, actually... Mabango siya. Parang medyo amoy shampoo na floral but hindi naman yung masakit sa ilong and overpowering. So ang gawin natin is irab lang natin siya sa may kamay tapos i-massage natin siya all over the skin. Kuha pa tayo ng konti para sa ibang parts ng ating face. So when it comes sa may feeling ng product kapag ka nilalagay siya sa may skin, kung meron kayo ng eye weight Korea na aqua moisturizer, Parang ganun yung feeling niya. Kagaya nung sabi ko kanina, yung consistency nitong product, para siyang gel. Kaya kapag kanilagay nyo sa may face, medyo may konti siyang cooling effect. So when it comes sa may feeling niya sa skin, medyo tacky siya ng konti, which is great. Kasi diba, mas maganda yung kapit ng foundation kapag ka ganun. Tsaka saktong-sakto lang yung lagkit niya kasi hindi siya yung nakakadire or parang sobrang OE sa lagkit. 
Especially kapag hinawakan yung skin. So when it comes naman dun sa sinasabi niyang poreless, kapag hinilagay na, to be honest, hindi. <laughs> Kasi dito sa may salamin, kapag katinignan ko ng malapitan yung aking skin, parang wala naman nagbago eh. Ganun pa din, kitang-kita yung pores, but ang nagbago lang talaga is yung pakiramdam niya kapag kahinawakan. Kung ano yung itsura ng skin ko kanina, ganun pa din siya. Overall for me, etong AOA na Wonder Skin, Poreless Primer is just an okay product. Pero feeling ko naman, magagamit ko pa to sa mga future videos, especially kapag ang hanap ko is yung very hydrating and moisturizing na primer. Para naman sa aking base, yung gagamitin natin in this video is itong Perfect BB Cream, Skin Perfecting and Color Correcting. This is how the product looks like and yung shade na aking nakuha dito is medium. Product description, it says here, Give the face a luminous glow to eliminate dull skin for a brighter appearance. Ayun lang. <laughs> how to use, apply a small amount under foundation or wear alone to enhance your natural skin tone while reducing fine lines and pores. Sabi dito sa may packaging niya, this contains 30 ml. It is cruelty free and 12 months yung expiration. By the way guys, tatlo nga pala yung shade na available dito and yung pinili ko nga is medium which is yung darkest and I'm crossing my finger na sana tama yung kulay. So, I try natin guys and dark. So, you can see it's too warm for my skin tone. When it comes to my consistency, as you can see, very ano siya guys, runny and watery. Palpak, diba? So, ang gawin na lang natin is bumawi tayo mamaya sa may concealer na gagamitin natin. So, ang gagawin ko is i-apply ko muna to sa aking face using my finger. By the way, when it comes nga pala sa may scent, hindi siya mabango. Amoy ano siya, parang crayola na amoy cooking oil na ewan. Basta ang weird ng amoy niya, I don't like. So, to blend the product, gamit lang tayo ng brush and let's see how it looks like kapag ka nakalagay na sa skin. This is how the BB cream looks like on my skin and as you can see, very sheer yung kanyang coverage. It is very dewy as well, which I don't like. When it comes sa may itsura niya sa skin, it clings sa mga dry patches. It doesn't look good to be honest. Yeah, ang pangit niya, especially dito sa may part ng face ko na to. Dun sa may area na hindi makinis, hindi siya magandang tignan. So, yeah. Not the biggest fan. Tsaka yung kulay, I feel like masyado siyang yellow for my skin tone. Kaya, hindi siya cute tignan. Feeling ko, alam nyo na yung aking verdict dito sa may product na to. It doesn't look good on the skin. And I feel like it's a waste of money. Tsaka, konti na lang kasi yung idadagdag mo. Makakabili ka na ng matinong foundation. So, instead of getting this, bumili ka na lang ng local brand like Everbilen or kaya Squad Cosmetics, di ba? If you have flawless skin and ang hanap nyo lang is yung mag-even out ng skin tone nyo and yung parang gagawing dewy yung skin nyo. Okay na to, but if you have skin imperfections like me, kung hindi kayo flawless and nagahanap kayo ng coverage, definitely hindi siya yung product na maire-recommend ko. See that, di ba? Sobrang oily niyang tingnan. To be honest, kung may choice lang ako, iibahin ko na yung foundation na gamit ko dito, but hindi pwede kasi, di ba? Tinatryin nga natin yung product. So, I guess, ang gagawin ko na lang is babawi ako sa may concealer na gagamitin ko para... Medyo masolusyon na natin and gawin natin mas maayos yung itsura ng foundation. So maglalagay na lang din ako dito sa main neck ng konting product para hindi naman mukhang nakalutang yung face natin and para magpantay. Again, overall, etong AOA Studio Perfect BB Cream is not perfect at all. I don't recommend this, hindi siya maganda. At least for me ha, hindi ko siya nabetan. So yeah. Ayoko to. Like I've said kanina, walang concealer sa pinagbilhan ko nito. Kaya yung gagamitin ko na lang na concealer sa video na to is yung aking A... Oh no. AOA. Um, the SEM. Tip concealer in 1.5. Alam nyo naman guys, di ba na sobrang favorite ko to. So, para masave natin yung ginawa nating base. Tsaka para medyo mag-lighten din siya. Ito na lang yung gamitin natin. This time sa may powder naman tayo and actually, nangangat yung ilong ko, wait lang. <laughs> Bakit ganun na no? Kung kailan naka-foundation na, tsaka biglang kumakat yung ilong. Anyway, like what I was saying kanina, dalawa yung powder na aking nabili from AOA. So, yung first one is yung kanilang setting powder. Perfect setting powder in the shade Soft Light. And yung second naman is yung kanilang Perfect Finishing Pressed Powder in Translucent. Subukan natin silang pareho. And yung first natin itatry is yung kanilang loose powder and... This one is in the shade Soft Light. Initially, yung plan ko talagang biling loose powder is translucent, kaya lang wala silang available na stock. Kaya ang nabagsakan ko, or nabagsakan talaga, I ended up with Soft Light. Kasi I feel like eto namang shade na to is okay then and perfect gamitan pang under eye. So ayan, itaktak muna natin siya sa may pinaka-cap. So ganito yung itsura ng powder guys. And once you touch it, super duper pino niya. It's finely milled in fairness. Maganda yung ano niya. 
texture. Usually kasi di ba kapag ka mga loose powder, especially yung mga affordable, ang problema sa kanila is yung texture dahil magaspang. But this one, super pino niya. So ayan guys, ang gawin natin is ilagay lang natin yung loose powder sa may area na may concealer. Ito na guys, nalagay ko na yung powder sa mga parts na may concealer and kapag ka tinitignan siya ng malapitan, hindi naman super dry nung itsura ng ano, area. Kasi nga ba diba, sobrang pino ng powder, kaya okay na okay yung texture niya and yung lapat sa balat. It doesn't look dry, especially dun sa mga parts na may crease. Okay na okay siya. I forgot to mention guys, yung info about the product. So, sabi sa may packaging niya, 12 months yung expiration niya after opening. It is cruelty free and it contains 7 grams. This time, ang subukan naman nating powder is yung kanilang finishing pressed powder in translucent and according sa may packaging niya, ganun din. 12 months yung kanyang expiration after opening. It is cruelty free and it contains 8 grams. Anyway, this is how the product looks like. Very basic lang siya. Okay naman yung packaging niya, kaya lang I feel like it would have been better kung meron siyang salamin, di ba? Para mas convenient gamitin. Anyway, to apply this on my face, kukuha lang ako ng large powder brush. And when it comes sa kanyang formula, it's very powdery. Feeling ko hindi nyo makikita kasi kulay white, but yeah, it's very powdery. So with this one, ang gagawin lang natin is ipapress natin siya dun sa mga parts na hindi natin nilagyan ng ano, loose powder. Hindi ko pala na-feel yung texture niya, no? So, when it comes sa may texture niya, pino din naman. Pero parang mas pino yung loose powder. Hindi naman siya magaspang and naset niyang mabuti yung parts na hindi natin nalagyan ng loose powder. Overall, for me, this powder is just okay. Kung ang hanap yung powder is yung pang-set lang talaga or pang-tanggal ng shine ng face, I feel like okay naman to. But to be honest, kung papipiliin nyo ko between the loose powder and etong pressed powder, I'd go with this one. Mas madami kasi kayo magagawa dito eh. Kasi diba, pwede nyo siyang ipang set and bake ng face. Unlike dito sa kanilang finishing pressed powder, pang ano lang talaga siya, set. Yung ano lang, very very light na set, yung pang everyday. So yeah, mas prefer ko tong ano, loose powder nila. Again, unfortunately, wala tayong bronzer ng AOA. Kaya ang gagamitin ko na lang is itong Vice Cosmetics Aura Contour in for sure. And kagaya before, ang gagawin ko lang is ilalagay ko siya sa outer perimeter ng aking face. Para lang hindi siya magmukhang maputla and magkaroon ng konting at konting kulay. Feeling ko medyo napadami yung lagay ko sa forehead kaya ayusin ko na lang mamaya. Of course, dito sa may temple, wag nyo kakalimutan and make sure ha, na kapag ka naglalagay kayo ng bronzer, bineblend nyo siya sa may hairline. Balik lang tayo sa may sponge na merong powder and medyo i-blend natin to para mas maging soft and hindi naman sobrang orange nung kanyang kulay. So, balik lang tayo sa may loose powder ng AOA and nagawin naman natin is medyo i-bake natin ng konti yung ginawa nating contour and bronzer. Wala lang, trip ko lang. <laughs> but kung ayaw nyo naman gawin, okay lang din. I mean, this part is optional so kung hindi nyo siya trip, by all means, i-skip nyo na lang. <laughs> okay lang naman. Initially, yung plan ko talaga sa video na to is i-skip na yung sa may eyes. Kaya lang, baka may magtanong sa inyo kung paano ko siya ginawa and baka din may nagahanap nang pwede nyo gamitin for prom, kaya sabi ko, isasama ko na. Yung first nating palette na gagamitin is itong Everbella na Play Palette. And for my transition, yung gagamitin ko lang is this shade. So kunin lang natin siya using a fluffy brush. Tapos, ang gawin natin is, ilagay lang natin siya dito sa may outer part ng ating eyes. Parang i-press nyo lang muna siya para mapack yung color. Then after that, kunin lang natin ulit yung same shade. Tapos, ilagay naman natin siya dito sa may inner part ng ating lid. Then after that, ang gawin nyo is i-blend nyo lang yung brush sa likod ng kamay para mabawasan yung product. And then, ayan, i-blend nyo na yung edge para maging mas soft and diffused yung kulay. Tapos kapag ka-feeling nyo hindi pa ganun ka-dark yung outer part and inner part, ang gawin nyo is... Kumuha pa kayo and i-build up nyo lang siya. It's up to you na kung ganun ka-intense yung gusto nyo gawin. But personally for me, mas prefer ko talaga yung super intense kasi mas maganda siyang tingnan, especially sa photos. So this time using a smaller blending brush, kunin naman natin tong dark brown shade and gamitin natin siya as transition. Medyo i-warm up lang natin yung sa may crease para hindi lang isang kulay yung meron tayo. Sa may lower lash line, same process lang din. Kukunin lang natin yung dark brown shade and i- 
So smoke out lang natin siya. Pero hindi natin siya gagawing super mababang smoky kasi di ba usually ganun yung ginagawa ko. This time medyo gagawin natin siyang mas close sa waterline. Ayan guys, ganyan lang. And of course, sa may kabilang eye, ganun lang din yung ating gagawin. Para naman sa may center ng lid, magpapalit tayo ng palette. And this time yung gagamitin naman natin is itong Berry Squad Eyeshadow Palette from Squad Cosmetics. And yung shade na gagamitin ko from this palette is itong metallic or shimmery na parang champagne color. Hindi ko ma-describe. I'm so sorry, but... Anyway, bago natin siya i-apply, ang gawin natin is basahin muna natin ng konti yung ating brush para mas intense and foiled yung effect niya. So, ayan. Pick up lang natin siya using a flat brush. Tapos, ang gawin natin is i-press lang natin siya and i-drag sa my center ng ating lid. Ayan, like that. Diba? Ang ganda, ha? Ang perfect and ang ganda ng effect ng eyeshadow sa may lid. Para siyang foiled. Medyo messy lang siyang ilagay, kaya mas maganda talaga kapag kami powder kayo sa may under eye. That way, if ever man na bumagsak yung eyeshadow, mabilis nyo siyang matatanggal. Balik lang tayo sa maliit na brush na ginamit natin for the under eye and kunin natin yung same brown shade. Tapos, medyo i-ano lang natin, i-blend yung edges para hindi naman ganun ka-harsh and sobrang alam nyo yun. Basta, alam nyo na yun. Para dun sa may inner corner ng aking eyes, yung same palette lang din yung ginamit ko guys. And etong shade na to yung aking nilagay. Hindi ko na nasama sa video yung clip kasi hindi ko pala suot yung microphone. But ulitin na lang natin. Dagdagan natin siya. On my cheeks, yung gagamitin natin is itong Lumi Radiant Blusher ng AOA and this one is in the shade So Close. By the way, this one contains 8 grams and 12 months din yung kanyang shelf life after opening. And this is how the product looks like when you look at it closely. Hopefully, hindi siya ganun ka-dark kapag kanilagay sa cheeks kasi when you look at it sa may pan, super dark and intense nung kulay. But whatever, gawa na lang natin siya ng paraan. Very pigmented siya guys, kaya be careful. Mag-start na lang kayo sa konti, tsaka nyo siya i-build up. Huwag kayong mag-suswirl basta-basta, tapos tsaka nyo ilalagay kasi baka mahirapan kayong tanggalin. Pero in fairness ha, maganda yung kulay niya. Also be careful kasi tingnan nyo, sobrang ano niya, um, ano ba tag doon? Sobrang metallic, di ba? May tendency na magmukha siyang oily kapag kanya lagay sa skin. So be careful and maganda sana yung kulay niya eh. Kaya lang ayun nga, sobrang shiny niya for my liking. So ang gawin natin is patungan natin siya ng powder para medyo mabawasan. This is how the blush looks like kapag ka nakalagay na sa may cheeks. And to be honest, ngayong nabawasan ko na siya, mas naging okay na and mas desente. Mas maganda na siyang tignan. Overall for me, this blush is just okay. Mabilis naman siyang i-blend and hindi patchy kapag ka nilagay sa skin. It's just that yung ano talaga, pagka-shiny niya masyadong intense for my liking. This time, mag-highlight naman tayo and yung ating susubukan is itong AOA Wonder Baked Highlighter in the shade Cupcake. This is how the product looks like when you look at it closely. Same lang sila ng size ng blush but kapag ka tinignan nyo sa may likod, Mas konti yung laman ng ano, highlighter. So, eto kasing blush, meron siyang 8 grams. But yung highlighter, 4 grams lang yung laman niya. So, ang weird, ba Mas okay sana kung pinareho na lang nila kasi same lang naman yung price and yung itsura and lalagyan. Tapos, when it comes sa may shelf life ng product, 12 months din siya after opening. So, to apply this on my face, gamit lang ako ng brush. This one is from Ate Anne and... Let's see. Hopefully, blinding siya and maganda yung kulay sa may skin. Dinidiinan ko yung pag-swirl and in fairness naman guys, konting-konti lang yung kickback and yung fallout. Medyo sa side view ako guys ha, para makita nyo kung intense ba and nagsushow up yung highlight. In fairness, okay siya ha. It's not super duper blinding but it's showing up. Special sa may highest point, okay, oh, kita siya. Tsaka maganda yung kulay niya kasi at first, akala ko kapag kanilagay ko to sa skin, since nga medyo may pagka-pink siya, Magiging silver yung labas niya. Pero buti na lang hindi. Kasi yun yung kinakatakutan ko eh kapag ka mga pink na highlight. Usually or yung tendency kasi kapag kanilagay ko siya sa aking skin is, ayun nga, nagiging silver yung labas. But this one hindi naman. Okay yung ano niya. Effect and yung itsura sa aking skin. Tsaka ano naman, mabilis yung i-blend and hindi patchy. Also when you look at it closely, it doesn't look like parang it's sitting on top of the skin. Talagang kumakapit siya sa balat kaya maganda. Of course, lagay din tayo sa may Cupid's bow. And sa tip ng nose. Dito din sa may temple, maglagay tayo ng konti para kapag ka tumatagilid tayo, hindi siya flat tignan and meron siyang glow. Overall, para sa akin, itong AOA na Wonder Baked Highlighter. I like this one and I highly recommend. If you have light to medium skin complexion and nagahanap kayo ng highlighter na perfect for everyday, this one is really nice. It looks really nice sa skin and wala siyang chunks of glitter as in, 
pinong-pino yung kanyang pigment. Tsaka maganda yung kulay. Perfect siya. Sad to say, pero hindi ako nakabili ng lipstick kasi yung shop na binilhan ko ng mga AOA products, walang magandang lipstick. Feeling ko kasi sayang lang yung pera kung bibilay ko ng lipstick tapos hindi ko naman bet yung kulay. Kaya ang ginawa ko na lang is... Bumili ako ng dalawang lip gloss. So yung first gloss na aking nabili is called Lip Pop and this one is in the shade Roll Model. So this one contains 7ml, 12 months yung kanyang shelf life after opening and cruelty free as well. Tapos yung second gloss naman is this one. And yung tawag sa kanya is Diamond Gloss in the shade Glitz. Unfortunately, wala siyang ibang details sa may packaging so ayun lang yung masasabi kong detail about this one but feeling ko naman same lang sila nitong naunang gloss. Para sa video na to, I guess yung gagamitin ko na lang is yung Lip Pop kasi mas bagay siya sa may eye makeup. But before natin itong i-apply, maglalagay muna ako ng lipstick and yung gagamitin ko is itong BYS na Lux Lips in the shade Mamacita. This is how the lipstick looks like and super nice tong kulay niya. Very ano lang, di ba? My lips but better yung kanyang shade. Yeah, sa may gloss naman tayo this time and once you open the packaging, this is how the applicator looks like. So when it comes to my scent, to be honest, wala akong maamoy. Wala siyang scent. So with this one, ang gagawin ko lang guys is ilalagay ko siya sa my center ng aking lips. So ayan guys, eto na yung itsura ng lips kapag ka nilagyan siya ng gloss. And when it comes to my formula ng gloss, in all fairness, hindi siya malagkit. As in guys, very lightweight, comfortable on the lips, and saktong-sakto lang yung pagkaano niya. Sticky. I like this gloss, maganda siya. Kung naghahanap kayo ng lip gloss na perfect going topper, this one is nice. Kasi dito sa aking lips, even though may kulay itong gloss, diba, hindi niya masyadong naiba yung kulay ng lipstick. It looks really nice. I love the color. And talagang ano eh, nag-complement yung kulay ng lips sa ating eyes. Anyway guys, this is the completed look. Overall, para sa akin, I did enjoy using yung mga product na ginamit natin. Even though yung iba sa kanila, hindi ganun kaganda and medyo palpak. Even though hindi ganun ka-perfect yung base natin, which is itong Perfect BB Cream. <laughs> Nagawa naman natin siya ng paraan and in the end, maganda yung kinalabasan ng makeup. Actually, ganun naman eh. Mapa-affordable man or expensive yung makeup. As long as alam mo siyang gamitin, even though hindi ganun kaganda yung quality niya, you can make it work. Kasi di ba kapag ka naisip nyo na yung product is only 50 pesos or 90 to 100 plus pesos, cheap yung quality niya. Pero dito sa video na to, napatunayan natin na hindi naman ganun palagi. Okay na okay yung nagawa nating makeup. Maganda talaga siya. I have four recommendations in this video and yung first one is there. Wonder Baked Highlighter in the shade Cupcake. Second is yung kanilang Lip Gloss Lip Pop in the shade Roll Model. Third is yung kanilang Wonder Brow Pomade in the shade Ebony. And yung last is yung kanilang Perfect Setting Powder in Spotlight. These four products are super duper nice. Kaya if you're planning to get any of the product na sinubukan ko sa video na to, I suggest na eto na lang yung subukan nyo kasi paniguradong hindi masasayang yung pera ang gagastos ninyo sa kanila. Ano pa ba sasabihin ko? Mm, ayun lang to be honest. I don't have anything much to say so yeah, that is it for today's video. I really hope na nag-enjoy kayo sa video natin today and of course, if you enjoyed watching, make sure to give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. Thank you guys so much for watching. I love you all so much and I hope to see all of you again on my next one.